it doesn't work i think that's the reason why new year resolutions don't work for most people because they start making their new year resolutions january 1st so you need to start planning some people plan their year ahead like way back in like august september i mainly plan my year around october november period Hello and welcome to my side of the internet. I am Karma the Eccentric Diva and on this channel we talk about writing, publishing, books, sex and sex education. Today we'll be talking about how I plan my year. The last video I shared, if you haven't watched that, I shared my goals for 2021 and my goals for and how i achieved them i mean and now this time around i'm going to be sharing with you how i plan for the next year but yeah before we go further into it if you haven't subscribed to this channel now is the time to do that i'm watching you please do that thank you very much really appreciate it. and you can also turn on the bell so you know whenever i drop new videos and all that so let's go right into it first off before i like walk you through the process because this video i'm going to be showing you the full process of how i do my planning um what you want to know is that as an author to be successful to feel successful because this journey is a lonely path okay not so lonely if you actually start making friends <laughs> it's a path that you know is best i don't know best left alone to the strong and willful and all that but yeah what i've noticed is that you need to set goals and plans just like in normal business would so you know where you have gotten to where you're going to and how you want to get there and what you should be doing who you should be collaborating with you know your brand and all that what you want people your readers to see yeah it's almost like outlining a, um, a novel almost almost like that but one thing you need to know is you need to start doing it before the next year begins because when january comes it's like it's just flying and it's it's not like all those new year resolutions people make where they have to wait for january 1st before they start making their resolution it doesn't work i think that's the reason why new year resolutions don't work for most people because they start making their new year resolutions january 1st so you need to start planning some people plan their year ahead like way back in like august september i mainly plan my year around october november period which i have done already and i just want to share with you like the back process of how i do it and i've in the past before i started buying materials and books like this i used to use my notepad i just you know segment out the year or i take my phone and impute it in the different calendar days of the year but that doesn't give me enough visual and perception or perspective i mean to see everything in just one space and i've noticed that when i write it it's actually more like i feel more connected than when i type it out or something like that so yeah want to be like karma go get yourself a notepad right now and start jotting so before i fully go into it just disclaimer i'll be using my 2021 planner because this planner last year when it came to me it's actually a wonderful one by audrey and hoggy that's if that uh, i don't know how to pronounce the name but yeah it's by audrey and i got it from amazon and it's actually like one of the best planners i've used so far like as regards to publishing and writing and all that because it's it contains tips and a lot a lot of things in there and she has like you know resources online as well too in case you don't understand some of the terms and some of the things she inserted there so for 2020 when i was making my plans for 2021 i mainly just used the like year plan that was all i didn't go deep like in depth like separating it into months and all this that right here i didn't i didn't do that so but this time around i decided that i'm going to use the book to the fullest potential that's the plan i mean the fullest potential although it's 2021 i've converted it into a 2022 planner by just changing the dates <laughs> and so when you see this don't see 2021 see 2022 so first things first let's just get prepared i'll be voicing over the main video and describing the process with which i actually plan the year ahead and how i feel more fulfilled 
how I feel more purposeful. I know what to do, what I'm writing, what I'm ignoring, and how I set my goals. Marketing as well, too. So, yeah, join me. Let's dive right into the main video. Okay, guys, let's fully get into this. So, this is just me taking out the important parts I want to fill in this year because, like I said, this book is pretty voluminous and it can actually get, you can actually get lost, you know, and just get into a rabbit hole trying to fill everything. So, I'm just filling the ones that matters to me using my note flags to annotate the pages I want to focus on, of which for this planner, I'm focusing on my vision for the year. I'm doing the 12 months plan, but I'm going to do in-depth three months plan. So every three months I review my goals. So the first thing you actually want to do is to actually set a goal slash a vision. For me, what I do is that I ask myself how many manuscripts I would like to publish, how many would I like to write. So the number of books I actually write is actually different from the number of books I end up publishing. I actually tend to write more than I publish because it takes a longer time to edit this book. So yes. So you ask yourself, how many books do you want to write? How many books do you want to publish? This is on that vision part. Um, I also ask myself, um, how many copies of my books do I want to sell? How many subscribers on my email, my YouTube, my followers on different platforms? How do I want to reach people? So all these are my visions and my goals. So I set numbers to make them into goals. I, um, I, I ensure that these things are achievable. If they're not achievable, I kind of, you know, kind of hysteric them and ask myself, you know, maybe later in the year check how far i've gone and yeah you can see i'm very um vulnerable right here i'm showing you everything i'm doing and like my personal goals so you can actually help me achieve those goals thank you very much thank you very much i'm glad i'm making it public so before i go fully into the full year goals i have the overall year plan slash overall year goal that I know these are the major goals. These are things I'm actually looking forward to. Then before I go like nitty gritty into the three month goals, like, okay, this is what I'm doing for the first three months to accomplish all these goals I want to do over the year. I plan my expenses. I also plan my marketing. Where do I want to market? Who do I want to market with? Who works best with my brand? Which platforms do I want to work on most? Which platform do I want to grow? Um, how much do I want to spend on advertising this year? 2022 is going to be a year of massive advertisement for me, by the way. So I'm investing more in my marketing arm because, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a slow progress. It's an indie, although you have to so that's it. learn this thing. So, yeah, subsequent videos, you shall see more. But that will be all for now. Thank you. So that's it. Thanks a lot. For watching this video i hope you've learned a thing or two feel free to ask questions let me know how you plan your year ahead um if you have any planner i should be using for 2023 please let me know and yeah definitely there'll be a review by the grace of god by the end of 2022 showing if i actually fulfilled all these plans and all these goals and all these dreams but i hope you've been able to learn a thing or two what else again that i want to say yeah subscribe subscribe if you watch the video to this point that means you actually learned something so you need to subscribe thanks once again for watching keep reading and keep writing i remain your one and only eccentric diva and see you in the next video ciao